hit the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Hello everyone, where if you have a question, let us express the sequence below as a sum of scaled and shifted unit steps given us x of n and this particular question where we have four conditions and as we can see they are represented in terms of n which says it's a discrete time sequence and they said if the discrete time sequence x of n above is represented as continuous time signal x of t plot x of t we're going to start this by performing signal decomposition where we have our x of n is given us an impulse signal which is sigma of n then this one is for the first condition where we have one so we can put a one here plus we have two which is the second condition which is this then into that is sigma into n minus one okay that is the signal decomposition then we have plus the next condition which is 3 given us this so we have 3 sigma into n minus 2 so we have now performed the signal decomposition let's now represent this impulse signal which is sigma sigma all into a step signal Okay, right. Step signal is given us, that is, when we have an impulse, when we have an impulse, step is given us, that is, sigma n is given us u of n minus u of n minus 1. Now, this is the representation in step signal so we have our x of n and we have everything in terms of sigma sigma we can easily convert this into a step signal so now the above equation which is my x of n will be given as our sigma n which we say is equals to u n minus u of n minus 1 then the next one we have plus which is the second term we are going to select is this we have 2 into this time we have u of n so u of n and the first term here is n minus 1 so here is going to be n minus 1 instead of u of n because the first term and the first one, which is this, is u of n. And here the first term is u of uh, sigma of n minus 1. So the first term here is u of n minus 1. Then minus the next one will be given as u of n minus 2, which is the next term. Okay, so then we put the third one where we have 3 into u of the first term here is n minus 2. So we're going to say u of n minus 2, then minus u of n minus 3, which is the next step. Okay, from here we have our x of n. We can simplify the above equation where we have u of n minus u of n minus 1 bracket, then plus 2u into n minus 1 close bracket minus 2u into n minus 2. What I did here is that 2 outside this particular bracket 
that has two outside, you just multiplied everything with two. Then next we have Sherry, we have a plus here, right? And we have plus three into that is three u into and minus two. And minus three u into and minus three. So from this simplified equation, we have u into n minus one, one term, and we have two u into n minus one. So these are like terms, so they can go with each other. So we have u at the simplifying it further, u of n can be given as two u of n minus one minus u of n minus one will give us plus u of n minus 1. And the next thing we can see that this u of n minus 2 minus 2u into n minus 2 and also we have plus 3u into n minus 2. So we can minus them since they are like terms. So we have plus u into n minus 2. Minus 3u into n minus 3. Okay, so that's it. We have expressed our signal, which is x of n, in terms of step units, which is u of n plus u of n minus 1 plus u of n minus 2 minus 3 and minus 3. So as we can see, the signal has been represented in a discrete time signal and it is in step, it is in step signal form. So finally we have changed it from the impulse that was given to the step. Now next, the question says, if the discrete time sequence x of n above is represented as continuous time signal x of t, plot x of t. From here, we can plot x of t. So we need to represent the discrete time signal into a continuous time signal. That is expressing it in terms of t. x of t now will be given as u of t plus, we just have to replace the n with the t. And u of t minus 1 plus u of t minus 2 minus 3 into t minus 3. Now we have to sketch this particular signal. So in the next class, we'll now be plotting the particular signal in terms of continuous time signal.